Huh. I gotta take a second on that. Can't sell chocolate without a shop. No daydreaming. Guys, I have been singing Scrub Scrub an unhealthy amount of times. <laughs> <laughs> it's the song of the year. Yeah. Huh. Huh? Huh. A double hum. Do you have a pencil and paper? Uh-huh. I got an idea. Chocolate just makes everything better. It really is the answer to a lot of my issues. Timothy, mm -hmm. out of all your previous characters, who do you think would benefit from some Wonka chocolate? Ooh, that's a great question. Huh. I gotta take a second on that. Who needs a bit of sweetness? Maybe Lee from Bones and All. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah. Say. Yeah. He could definitely you do didn't see that movie. No, no, no. Okay, no. all right. No, I was gonna say Thank that. God. He could uh, switch up his diet. <laughs> you know, I'm thinking I'm a bad person. The whole cast is just so dreamy. Who has bigger British energy, Olivia Coleman or Hugh Grant? Mmm. Well, I never got a chance to work with Hugh Grant, so I wouldn't know. So, Olivia Coleman. See, Olivia. I'm gonna have to go with Hugh. Hugh is like a walking Union Jack for me. In the best, I mean that in the most affectionate way. <sighs> he's just, he's charming. He's got a wicked sense of humor. Uh, he's the best. Did you guys pick up any Britishisms from Olivia or from Hugh? Tickety boo. Tickety boo. What's what's that? Maybe I don't know what that is. Maybe it's not English. What? I just like. I just say, like Hugh Grant thing. I'm gonna say a brain glitch. <laughs> I don't know. That might not be a thing. I just like the way they say Adidas instead of Adidas. I just feel like that's mm. cool. That's the like, way you're supposed to say it. I think. Is that the way? You're supposed I to thought say? it was Adidas. Yeah, I, I say Adidas. Adidas. Some people say Adidas. My name is Willy Wonka. He's good. Too good. There's nothing I love more than a musical. I'm such a geek when it comes to them. Yeah. What was the first musical you guys fell in love with? Hmm. High school musical. That was when I was younger. Like, uh, like the first musical that I actually watched was high school musical. What's your favorite song from high school musical? Yeah, I was just gonna ask. Mmm. Oh, that's hard. No pressure. Probably all in this together. It's mm. a banger. It's a mm -hmm. classic, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. It's a great karaoke song as well. Might be Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I don't know. That was probably the thing I watched earliest that I can remember that was full of musical numbers. Have you got a particular favorite? Um, maybe the Candyman can. <laughs> Some one of that, either the opening number or one of them. Yeah. And look at you now. Crazy. You are the man himself. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Who's for a hammer job? <laughs> Nothing to see here. Just a small group of people defying the laws of gravity. Wonka's got the gift of the gab, though. He's a great businessman. Mm -hmm. Which other actor would you guys choose to go into business with? That's a great question. Somebody we know or somebody we. Could be anyone. Could be anyone. To go into business with? I mean, hmm. Well, like, uh, you know, George Clooney and Ryan Reynolds. They've done pretty well for themselves. They've done all right. Yeah, The Rock or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like yeah. Everything he yeah. touches. The Rock, I'd say that. Well, well, what we put that together, that'd be weird. I'd invest. <laughs> I would invest. invest. Yeah, you'd have an investor yeah. in me. Pinky promise. That's the most solemn vow there is. Where do we start? This film's so beautiful in the sense that we see Wonka take Noodle under his wing. Mm -hmm. Timmy, when you were starting out in the industry, who really helped and supported you? Hmm, that's a great question. You know, um... I was very lucky early on to, I mean, Matthew McConaughey on Interstellar. He was like warmer and kinder and and uh, I have a voicemail from him. He like uh, rang me right after he shot what's my favorite scene in Interstellar where he's in the communications booth on the ship and he's weeping and he misses his kids. And uh, that's just a small example that when I've seen him since, but really early on in my career, if I would email him for advice, it's this kind of thing, it's not to be cynical, but those things really matter, like before you have any momentum, people that are taking the time to lend an ear. You know, John Lithgow was like that too, yeah. Well, thank you guys so much yeah. for talking thank to me. Thank and thank you. you for making me smile so much. Yes. Everyone's gonna be the same. It's radio.